All right, so I decided I'm going to share my notes and tabs with people when I teach them the songs. Um, when we're part the way through them. Because you got to practice it on your own. And um, really figure it out before you could understand my notes and all that. So, if we're out on the Western Plain, here's the intro. You know, so you play this once, and then you play that, and then you play this again, and then you play that the second time. And then you have your strumming pattern for the chorus, and then you have, you know, the, the, the part, you know, uh, of the chorus where... You know, you go from the third fret to the second fret, you know, all that. And then you repeat this. That's why it says times two. So you do this, and then you repeat this. Um, so it'd be, but I made a half a million, working hard on the battle range. With the cow cow yicky, with the cow cow yicky, yeah, yeah. You know, so that's how it'd be. So that's why you have to go through it twice. I made a half a million working hard on the battle range with the cow cow yicky, with the cow cow yicky, yeah, yeah. Then you got your part in between the cow cows, cow cow yicky, with the cow cow yicky, yeah, yeah, which I put down here. I put that you go back to the A part. So that's the A part, and then the part in between, and then you go back and you do the whole A part, not just what I wrote there, but the whole thing. And then it brings you back to the normal picking pattern. Um, and I think there's two choruses, where this page is all you need for um, two choruses. And then after that, we go into like the first solo part. This is the dun the second so you repeat this twice, that's why there's a times two. You can just take pictures of this, you know, I'm just explaining what the notes are. And then it goes into the... And then it goes into the... Normal playing pattern again. And then we're here. We have the other solo I taught you in part four. Um, so if you want to take a picture of that or a screenshot, there you go. And um, I believe this is written out just fine because, yeah, because you have the the hammer on and off here, which you only do the first time, and then it goes to the open strings, and then you do that power D, and then you do the strumming pattern, then you go back into it, and you repeat that one, and you repeat that one, but the second time you do it, you do the slide from 7 to 12, and, um, and then you end up coming back down right, with the G at the end there. And then that's when you have the da 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 And then the da 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 that really dissonant note, you know? And then you do your power D in the strumming pattern a couple times. And um, there's the second part of the solo. And I forgot to mention that you're supposed to play this twice. Just like this is, you, you play this twice. That's why there's a times two there. So play these two twice. 
and then come in and finish it up with this part and then you come in and this is um the normal strumming pattern where you leave your fingers in right here and then it goes and then you have your normal strutting strumming pattern and then that cool part where you go up to the fifth fret and you do um, your cool strumming patterns there and um, then you go down to the third fret um, now I only wrote out the fifth fret that you do um, that is two bars so you do it once you do it twice that's a bar you do it once you do it twice that's a bar <clears throat> but you actually do them all that many times so this is four times as well on the third fret and then i think on the record he goes down and does it on the second fret as well um although i don't like to do that and then when he comes out you know and all that and then this is where he goes back to the beginning pattern. That's why it says beginning pattern there. Um, so what I mean by that is I think he's singing, because you see this is the same um, part as this part right here. You, you know, so I think he sings over a different part um, for the last uh, verse or chorus or whatever you want to call it um i don't do that i um i make this into another different solo and i do well i do the the third one first i go back and do uh, it the normal way from before and then i come back and i do this part again with this part again and then i add in um, what I wrote up here, which is, um, you know, like another solo, um, which I don't have to share with you. <laughs> and, um, so yeah, did we do this whole page? Yeah, so this is where it would go back to the last chorus, the normal picking pattern. And, um, this is how you would come out of, if you're going to play it the way he did it, where he s does the last verse over, like, a different playing pattern, this is how he comes out of it. Right here. So that's what this is. And then this is the beginning of the last solo right here. Um, so you, uh, this will be my last lesson as me teaching you guys this. And, um, so you have some cool stuff here, and, um, all this is the solo, and then he goes into the fifth fret part again, and that's how he, he ends it, so he goes five, and then three, and, um, then he does, <clears throat> like, a special in-between thing after he does the five, and he does this whole thing in between them and then he goes back to the five pattern which is what it, you know is what i just showed you over here it's the same thing as this Playing the, you know, from the 5th fret, that pattern that we play, down to the 3rd fret, and down to that 2nd fret, if you want to do the 2nd fret. Um, so you can see this whole page, so you could take a picture of it. Um, so he does this in between um, him doing it again. So he's doing the 5 thing down to the 3. And then after the three, he adds this in there, and then he goes back to doing that same pattern on the fifth fret, and then the third fret, and then the second fret, and then on the first fret, and he does them all twice for two bars. And um, once he's done with the first fret, 
you'll see how you kind of ended up here. You, you know, your, your first finger is going to be right there. So you just do that picking pattern. And then you have this picking pattern here. And then your last drum. And that's the, that's the song. So that's so you can take a picture of that. You could take a picture of that. And you could take a picture of that. And um, there's more to the solo that I came up with than, than this. It's just this is what I needed to um, actually start turning some of these into A's. You, you know, so I'm switching between the A and the D like he does. And... Um, you know, you could add in some cool stuff into that. And um, if you try that pattern right there, this one at the top, um, you'll you'll see why I like it and how it fits in the song. And it's, it's basically based off of something that I heard him do in one of his live versions. I think. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I can't remember where I got that from, but I'm pretty sure it was him. So there you go, there's my notes and uh, tabs on that, and um, you, you know, you gotta put in the grind of listening over and over and trying over and over again, you, you gotta do that. Um, if you get spoiled by just having the tabs, then you start to forget all the in-between stuff, you're just too focused on learning the song too fast, and then you skip all this technique that, that is needed to play the song. In timing, you know, first of all, um, you know, uh, to, to learn the licks, second of all, um, to play things correctly, and uh, again, in timing, you, you know, and uh, get the feel of it, you know, um, just having the tabs from the beginning, if you don't know how to work it correctly, it could really take a lot of that out, unless you know how to inject it back in. So be careful with that. Um, but yes, it's always nice to have the tabs after you start learning something. So then you can be like, oh, and you can just look at the tabs and they're always there to remind you of, um, you, you know, what, what you're supposed to be playing and all that. But this can't tell you what it's supposed to sound like. And this can't tell you a lot of things, you know, so that's why you don't depend on tabs alone. All this is is just numbers. It can't tell you what it's supposed to, the song is supposed to feel like, what atmosphere is supposed to create, how long this note's supposed to last. You know, it can't tell you any of that. All right, love y'all. Bye.